Too many thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help. I don't need opinions. So don't. This is the story of Sean Measures, born and raised in Portugal, Setúbal, and he always dreamt of becoming a goalkeeper, a professional goalkeeper. Loves football, loves the game, just wants to play. But he's always been an English boy in a foreign country, and he's always held dreams of leaving and joining the Premier League or maybe some of Europe's top elite divisions in the world. He's had a very humble beginning. Uh, his dad has a very normal job in Portugal. He's, uh, his mother works very hard. There's not a lot of money between the family. So he has been working very hard to become a professional footballer so he can support his family and help them realize their dreams. Sean was very fortunate to grow up in Portugal. It's always nice with the weather and the beach, but he just feels like something is missing, like he doesn't quite fit in here. He speaks the language perfectly, but just doesn't quite fit in. When Sean was a youngster, he joined Setubal very early on and uh, was always a very bright prospect for them. And when he signed his first professional contract, he was absolutely over the moon, not only because football has been his dream, but because he knew one day if he tried hard enough and kept working and working, that he would make it as a professional footballer in some of the world's top football leagues. He had a difficult childhood in Portugal, always struggled to fit in. All the Portuguese kids always picked on him because he couldn't speak the language and he was just always a bit different. But now everyone in Setubal knows and loves Sean Measures as the new Vitor Setubal goalkeeper and hopefully the saviour that can turn this club's fortunes around. But Sean Measures already got dreams of being a, a much bigger footballer than just for Setubal. He would like to get out of the club, leave there and make it on to bigger and better things. That's the dream anyway for Sean Measures. And this is his favourite place to come. He likes to come here just to contemplate what's going on with his life. He, uh, he's a little bit conflicted. He's very happy that he's a professional footballer. But I think he's a little bit impatient that he just wants to move on quicker and, and get himself out of Portugal, really, and, uh, and move on to the big, big leagues of England, Italy, Spain, something like that. But... I think he can count himself lucky. He had a good upbringing. He had to, you know, he could come to the beach every day and enjoy the sun. And uh, he was very, very privileged. But Sean knows that the hard work does not stop here. And he has to do very, very well, work very, very hard if he's going to carry on featuring for Vitor Setubal and possibly get a move away from the club. It's not all about the money for Sean. But he grew up in a time where he's seeing everyone around him driving big fancy cars, lots and lots of money, the flashing lights, Hollywood, etc. And he wants a piece of that, and rightly so. Reach for the stars. He's only got a small car right now. He wants bigger and better. When he turns up at the training ground, he sees all the flash cars that his teammates are driving. And he knows if he just keeps working hard that he will have that himself. But he's got his mum's car for now. And that will do just fine. But for now, the hard work does not end for sure measures as he makes his way towards the training ground so that he's not late. He doesn't want to be in the manager's bad books. And hopefully he's sure that he's going to be in the starting lineup for the game against Porto. Porto, a team that Sean measures was really really astounded by as a youngster always wanted to play for them a fantastic team in portugal and uh if he plays well this season he knows that he's going to have all of the port ois watching him and and hopefully one day can represent them in the champions league but more importantly for sean just playing in the champions league for any team really Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to episode 2 of the FIFA 19 goalkeeper career mode and as you can see from the start of this video we've added some storylines. Um, I'm not that good at doing them, I've never done them before um, so this is a bit of a tester so don't be too harsh on me but that's a little background of Sean Measures and where he grew up, how he grew up, what he wants from his future really and, uh, and just to let you know he did make training in time um, so he will feature in the game against his boyhood club, Porto. 
and uh, it's going to be a tough, tough game. But before we get into that, let's have a little look at the transfer window deadline day deals. Okay, so the transfer window is done and this is a quick little roundup with an hour left of the window to see who bought who, etc. So we, uh, we're we just going to flick through quickly. You can pause it if you want to see the names, but the idea is we're just going to see if anyone stands out as having arrived or left a club. Uh, Rodrigo out, I'm sure that's no one that important. Porto look like they've done a bit of business, selling quite a few people there. Um Gore out for um, Funchal, who we just played. But not a lot else going on. I do know that we have signed a couple of people ourselves. Um, but like I say, just having a little look, see if any names really stand out. Uh, Nastasic as a good sign in there for Ben Fika. A few good players out of the door there. Uh, Sport and Lisbon, nothing much, mainly selling players there, same as Vip Guamares. And this is Vitseb Setabul, Se uh, our team. And it turns out that that Jean on the right hand side is actually a new sign in, and so is Javan. And uh, we lost two players in Pinto and Tay. So that is the roundup. Let's have a little look now at these two new sign ins and see how they fit into our squad. OK, so the first new sign in Javan, he's a left back. He's 30 years old. He's rated at 74, which I believe makes him better than our current left back. Uh, so moving in the right direction there. And the other new sign in was this guy, Corentin Jean, uh, rated 74, 23 years of age. He's only on loan, I've just noticed on the right hand side there, but still rated 74. That's not a bad loan sign in at all. OK, so you can see there a couple of people bought in. Really impressed with the left back from what I've seen of him so far. I can't remember his name now. Darja, whatever his name was. And uh, the right midfielder, good rating, but he hasn't been playing very well, to be completely honest. Uh, but he does like to cross a ball. So uh, fingers crossed he will be a good loan signing for us. Uh, so have a little catch up, see how we have been getting on. We last met. In the Port O game in the first episode, we then played Funchal, the newly promoted team, and we lost 1-0. We absolutely battered them, couldn't score, and uh, and then they nicked a goal. Uh, very, very disappointing there for uh, for Vittoria Setubal. And, uh, and then we played Belenese in the league, and we won 1-0. So we got our first three points on the board. Happy days there. And that brings us into today's two games. Porto at home and Vitguamarez away. Let's get into this Porto game. It's a big game for Shaw sure, Measures today as he faces off against his childhood favourite club. It's Vittoria Setubal against FC Porto. And here come the lineups. Vittoria Setubal first. Measures in goal. Cascado, Arthur George, Fernandez, and the new signing Javan across the back. We then have a midfield three. Agu will be holding as normal. Samedo and Pedros are in front of him. And the normal front three, Jean, Mendy, and Alex. And they must improve. The FC Porto lineup now. Fabiano in goal, the man that we would like to replace. Ika Casillas equal um, in terms of level and uh, very tough to get into this Porto side. It's Miliato and Lite, Pedro and Jorge across the back. Didn't get a chance to show you the rest of the team, but I'm sure you caught a glimpse there. Let's get into this game and we need a big performance against FC Porto if we're going to show them what we're all about as a goalkeeper. 20 minutes gone, Porto throw, they've been threatening constantly and that's headed clear, thank God, but still Porto pressure, it's Danilo, Danilo into Bazor, Bazor lays it off and measures with a lovely one-handed save there, one for the cameras and that will get his confidence levels up early in this game, a good strike there, it was pretty much down the goalkeeper's throat but it still needed saving and measures got across. Bazur looking for options again. Mariega, Brahimi across Bazur. Now it's with Jorge. Jorge, can he, he's turning his man. Great footwork in there. Lays it back to Brahimi. Good pressure from Porto. He's now through. He gets the shot in and that's blocked off a defender. And that will cannon out for a corner kick. A lot of early Porto pressure here. And uh, that was definitely going in. I'd like to think we'd have had that covered. Vittoria Setubal 
in possession. Only three minutes of injury time in this first half. Decent football here. It's Pedroza outside to Alex. Pedroza on the edge into the striker, Mendy. And it's not the greatest shot and straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Not long left here in this first half. And there it is. There is the whistle. And Porto could not find a way through in them first 45 minutes. They didn't exactly pepper the goal with chances. But they certainly had the ball in that final third the, for a massive proportion of that first half. Really tough first half for Setebal. And the halftime score is Setebal nil, Porto nil. It's Bazur, Abu Bakar out to Danilo. Bazur, back to Danilo, into Abubakar. He's given Sean the eyes, and I thought he was going in the other corner. And that is a poor bit of goalkeeping and will not give the Porto manager anything to be impressed about with our goalkeeping there. He certainly won't be thinking that we're a natural replacement for any of his goalkeepers at the club. And a decent bit of build-up, patient build-up. Good hit there, and it finds its way in, in off the post. It threw me off. His body shape looked like he was going to the other corner. And the bend on that ball just took it away from me and further and further away. And it finds the corner of the net. And that makes the score. Vittoria Setubal nil. Porto 1. Back to the goalkeeper. Vittoria Setubal. And launched forward. Ball won by the striker. Down with Semedo now. It's Jean. On this right-hand side, ball comes in, header. And that's a decent save from Fabiano there. Porto throw. Ten minutes left on the clock. It's Jorge puts the cross in. And uh, Vittoria should deal with that pretty easily. But they've given it away on the edge of the box. Morega into Sergio. Sergio, will he look for the shot? He won't. And that is absolutely woeful goalkeeping and woeful defending there and that allows the substitute to steal in there at the front post and score a very easy goal I don't use the left bumper to control my keeper so I took uh, my own step to the left there as that's where I thought the play was going and uh, little I don't even know if it was a shot but it looked like it deflected off the defender really more than anything no it was a shot it was a clean shot Measures nowhere near to it. Really poor goalkeeping. And uh, he's going to have to perform a lot better than this if he's got aspirations of leaving this club and moving on to bigger and better things. So after that, it's Setubal nil, Porto 2. Throw in to Setubal. 88 minutes gone. Marega steals it. Marega's in. Lays it in to Abubakar. Sorry, it wasn't him at all. It was Maggi, the, the substitute who replaced Abubakar. Not a great effort there at all on the turn. Facing the wrong way. Better options. And that's going to be a corner kick in the dying seconds of this game. Poor, uh, I've got an option to come close. They don't use it. Put it on the edge. And Costinha will get that away. And that is the final whistle. A poor game, really. Sean Measures didn't cover himself in glory for either goals, to be honest. Not the best performance. And uh, not too many managers will have their ears pricked with that performance at all. So after the game, it's finished. Vittoria Setubal nil. FC Porto 2. And after the game, we unfortunately played a 6.5. It's better than we're expected to be playing, but it's not better than I expect myself to be playing. We conceded two goals. We caught one shot. We parried one shot. And we had 71% passing, uh, which isn't terrible, but it was, uh, it was an expected result to lose against Porto. OK, next up for Setubal is an away fixture against Vitguamares. And uh, it's going to be a tough game. They're one, uh, they're kind of behind the leading pack in the division. But they are a very good team and we're away from home. So it's going to be very, very tough. Let's get into it and, uh, and see if we can get anything out of the game at all. Another big chance for Sean Measures to prove himself here in a tough away game. It's Vitguamares who face Vitoria Setubal. And here come the lineups, Vittoria Guimares. It's uh, Douglas in goal, captain. And we have a back line of Sacco, Venancio, Pedro Henrique, and Hanin. And uh, that's what I'm guessing they're playing for at the back. They are Celis and Pepe in the middle, Davidson, Rincon, and Texera in the midfield, with Welthon up top. 
And Vittoria Setubal line up like this. It's measures in goal. Cascado, Arthur Jorge, Fernandez and Javan across the back. Agu, Samedo and Pedroza will be the middle midfield three with the three front men, Alex, Mendy and Jean. And as Vittoria try to get away, it's... Oh, and we've very nearly been beaten at the front post there. And uh, I don't know if that was a save or what that was. And it wasn't a save. It was just a shot that went wide. And that is a let off early on in the game there. Throw to Setubal and Samedo. Puts one into Pedroza and Jean. This is good pace, good tempo from Setubal. It's Mendy back to Javan, the full back in an advanced position. Now Mendy on the edge of the box. Jean, good ball. Samedo gets the shot. And that's easy for Captain Fantastic Douglas. Corner comes in, headed clear. And with only two minutes out of time, we are desperate to get the whistle from the referee here. And the Setubal defender steps in to get that ball clear. And that is the half-time whistle. And uh, it's much the same as the Porto game, really. It's constant pressure from Guimarães. We've uh, we've actually had a chance or two ourselves this time round, But uh, nothing concrete. And we're certainly not holding on to the ball too well. So the half-time score, Guimarães nil, Setubal nil. Ball on the edge of the box now. It's Jean into Pedroza. Pedroza finds Alex. Alex has been quiet so far. Great footwork, though. Finds some space into the striker's feet. And there it is. It's the first goal of the season for the striker, Frederick Mendy. And he needed that. He has looked poor all season. Uh, Alex, our only other goal scorer, he's looked good, but he doesn't get the ball very often down that left-hand side. But this is great footwork. And he finds the free man in the box. Goalkeeper, no chance. And that is a really good start to the second half there Guimarães are going to have to come out chasing this now and that makes the score Guimarães nil Situbal one out wide now with Florian and Andre finds the ball down the channel chance for a cross here it's Davidson gets the cross in and it's easy for Texera there great run into the box what a ball and the defense were chasing shadows and the goalkeeper absolutely no chance there Really, really good ball. Really, really good header. Guimarães certainly deserved that in my eyes. It was good football. As soon as we've gone one up, they've really put the pressure on. Great run. No one's following him. No chance for sure measures there. And after that goal, that makes the score. Guimarães won. Vittori Setubal won. Corner comes in near post. Overhead kick. Sean Measures manages to palm that clear, but not very far as far as Texera on the edge. Texera, the shot comes in. It cannons off the bar and the rebound from John finds the back of the net. Pure pressure from Guimarães. And with five minutes left, they've managed to break the deadlock and get the goal that puts them in front. A wonder strike there. Measures couldn't get back up in time to defend the rebound and header and it's a shame because of all the hard work that the team have put into this game but Guimarães have probably deserved all three points and that makes the score Guimarães 2, Setabal 1. It's with Ruben Mikel and that is it from the referee. He blows up for full time and a disappointing result, but not a disappointing performance for Setubal, really. Uh, I thought we played quite well. It's, it's probably been one of the better games we've actually had and good to get Mendy, the striker, on the score sheet as well. Uh, his confidence will soar because of that. So at the final whistle, the score is Vitguimarez 2, Setabal 1. And after the game, we played a 6.5 again. Not our greatest game there. Uh, don't think that we could have really done anything about either goals, really. That header at the near post, no one was following the runner. He was about five yards out, four yards out. Absolutely no chance there. Um, and as well with that rebound for their for their winner, no chance at all. So we conceded two. We parried one, 66% passing. Uh, not the greatest game for us, really. And good news with our latest training session, we have pushed up to a 75 rated goalkeeper. We're getting there, we'll get better and better, and I'm sure the wonder saves will come in time. 
So this is the league table after six or seven games in Liga Nos and Porto, as we would expect, unbeaten at the top of the league after seven games on 17 points. Braga in behind them. Vic Guamara's there. Sporting up there as well. A uh, little bit disappointing from Benfica down in 11th, but... Vittoria Setubal find themselves in 15th place after six games. We do have a game in hand on most people, uh, so certainly nothing to panic about at the moment. But we want to be we want to be looking at sort of top 10, really something like that. So it gives us a shout for any kind of European qualification, etc. Things like that. So not the best start from Setubal, but we're still in it and we still got a chance. OK, so in terms of where we're going to come back, I haven't had a little I haven't had a look myself to see when we're going to come back. But the next game we have is against Moriens. Uh, we then have an international break there, which we're not going to be in the team for. Uh, Tondela we have there. So we might push on. And uh, I think here we've got a couple of uh, good teams there. So we're going to push on to early November when we face Braga away. And then we face Firenze at home. So uh, really getting this season underway. Get our keeper pushed right up in the ratings and um and yeah and the hope is to carry on with the storylines like i say i've never done them before uh, i might do an intro during games you might not get a storyline for an episode you might get it at the end it might be little cut scenes here and there um but i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like the idea of it if you got any ideas for me that you'd like the way you'd like the storyline to go or anything like that because i kind of haven't got any plans for that right now but i will come up with some but if you've got any ideas please drop a comment on the video and uh and you never know maybe we can make this a, a fun storyline for sean measures the portuguese english goal portuguese born english goalkeeper uh as we track his career so uh, we are going to leave the episode there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please drop the video a like. It helps out immensely. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. And I will do my best to bring you daily FIFA 19 content, whether it's the goalkeeper career, whether it's my centre midfielder career, and any other kind of content that I may choose to create. So thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you in episode three.